LCC charging out of the gate at home. Let's hope all out and they get started early. Quintel Peoples getting the handoff and guess what? He is gone, 75 yards to the house and just like that, LCC on top, seven nothing. T-Birds get the ball back around the same area and it's the same Peoples finding room for the touchdown. LCC up 14 nothing. Now Hope Old Loudon facing a fourth and two down early, so they go for it. But the defense getting the stop, the turnover on down, so the T-Birds get the football right back. Now they're going to go to the air. Evan Unruh, fake pitch. Travis Hoyle, deep at the 12, escorts the football all the way into the end zone. Another touchdown for LCC. They were rolling. Hope Old comes back to their first offensive play. Ashton Bohr going deep to Reed Jury. And he escapes the defense, and Hopewell Loudon showing some life in this one. So now it's LCC's turn to respond, would they? Rossi Moore gets the pitch, and he says, yep, dives in the end zone. Another touchdown, 28 to seven. At this point, LCC, for those of you who keep in score, now another Hopewell punt, and it's Unruh looking long again. Brian Hines catches it, dives into the end zone, and Close to the end zone, he stepped out of bounds there. Just outside the five yard line, Peoples gets it, punches it in for the touchdown. LCC absolutely rolling in this one. So LCC with the football again, and this is Moore finding an opening. Cuts back up the middle, makes the guy miss, makes the guy stumble, and he is gone to the house. 33 plays in the first half. 434 yards for LCC. Now, Hope Well Loud looking for it, and Stolly there, Nathan Stolly, picking it off. So the LCC defense showing up as well, and just like that, they turn it into points. Unruh looking for Hines across the middle, finds him, and no doubt about it, he puts another one in for the touchdown. Hope Well Loudon looking long again, but right there, it's Peoples working on defense as well as on offense. A explosive effort for LCC tonight. They come away with the win, 62 to 20 over Hopewell Loudon. LCC ran 33 plays in the first half, running clock, only 11 plays in the second half, but enough to get the job done. Afterward, Aaron Matthews caught up with head coach Scott Palti. Scott Palti, first time since 2010. The T-Birds are headed to the final four. Uh, I'm really excited for our kids. They've played awesome. Uh, great effort, great inspired uh, performance tonight, and uh, you know they earned it and deserve it. And you know I'm so proud of our staff and our kids, and you know to make the state semifinals and be one of the final four teams in Division Seven, what an accomplishment! I'm really proud of our kids. You ran 44 plays, you had 443 yards unofficially in the first half. Is this what you expected tonight in the first half? Oh, geez, our kids really got after it and played hard, and uh, our, our our backs and receivers, our line got on people and blocked, and we found a seam, we hit it, and, you know, we were really, everything was clicking tonight, running game, passing game, and our kids did a great job. Talk about the defensive side. Coach Rumschlag really drew up a great defensive plan to contain Ashton Bohr. Uh, they got a couple big scores, yep. especially late in the second half, yep. but by and large, your guys defensively played as solid as they have all year. Yeah, we knew we had to stop their quarterback. He's a heck of an athlete running and throwing. We knew we had to contain him because he'd made a bunch of big plays on films, and our kids did a great job of crowning him and uh, surrounding him and not letting him get out. Like you said, he made a couple plays, and when you're that good a football player, you're going to make a few plays, and I thought our kids did a great job of containing him, making him earn his yards, and uh, just really good defensive game plan and really good execution by our guys. Another week of practice for your ball club. Congratulations, Scott. Thank you. Appreciate it.